Imagine this for just a moment. Imagine that I'm you. Has this ever happened to you? Where you're going on about your day, minding your own business, and then all of a sudden, a married guy hits on you. And then another married guy hits on you. And then an emotionally unavailable guy comes up to you, and another one, and then you're surrounded by married guys or emotionally unavailable guys. Ugh, so how do you shift that result and begin attracting the men that you want into your life? My name is Matt Boggs. I'm a best-selling author and relationship coach helping women manifest their man. And I'm gonna share with you three things that you can do to attract the kind of men that you want in your life and actually repel the men that you don't want. But first, let's play a little game. In a moment, I'm gonna show you a series of pictures and your job is to see as many brown things in these pictures as you can. I want you to count the number of brown items that you see in these pictures. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at these pictures, count the brown items. How many brown can you see? Count them faster, here we go. Now, did you find some brown items? You probably did. Chances are you probably found a whole lot of brown items, so good job doing that. And let me ask you another question. How many red items did you see? Now, chances are you may have seen some, or chances are, if you're like most people, you didn't see any red items. Why didn't you see any red items? Let's put these photos back up. Look at all the red items that were available for you, that were right in front of you, and yet your mind didn't even see them. Why? Because there's a part of our brain that's been designed over thousands of years of evolution called the reticular activating system. And this part of our brain, its job is to help us see what we're focused on and to filter out the rest. It actually causes us to become blind to the things that we're not focused on or the things that we deem unimportant. Now, what's great about this is this helps us sift through the hundreds of thousands of things that are vying for our attention each and every day and focus on the few things that we want to focus on that day without becoming overwhelmed. So it's actually very useful for us, but it can get in our way when it comes to our love life because our brain doesn't filter between the things that we want or don't want. It simply focuses on what we put our attention on. So when you're noticing the married men in your life and you're focused on, wow, how many married men come up to me? How many emotionally unavailable guys there are? And that's where your attention goes. That's where your focus goes. You actually blur out or almost become blind to all the great guys that are right in front of you in your life. Now, you might be saying, well, Matt, there are a lot of emotionally unavailable guys coming into my life. There are, I do get hit on by a lot of married guys, and I'm not arguing with you. I agree with you. And this brings me to the other half of the equation, because the chances are, if you're focused on those things, you're actually perpetuating that result. You're actually causing more married men and emotionally unavailable guys into your life via the law of attraction. Right? The law of attraction states that like attracts like. You don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Imagine this, there's two grand pianos in the same room. If you hit the C key on one of those grand pianos and then walk over to the other grand piano and lift up the lid, the C chord on that other grand piano is going to be vibrating because they're in harmony, they're in resonance. You have a major dominant vibration it's your feeling tone, it's your state of being. And whatever you're sending out to the world, the world is bringing back to you circumstances, people, and event that are in harmony with the way that you feel. So, chances are, if you get hit on by a married guy, you're going to think thoughts like, this sucks, what a douchebag this guy is coming up to me, he's already married and he's hitting on me, and it's gonna put you in a negative state. You might feel resentful, you might feel angry. And if you're human, this is what we do. We not only see that it's happened, then we stack it with previous experiences that are just like that one. We'll stack that event. And we'll think about last month, how many married guys came up to us. And that will aggravate the negative feeling. It will actually dial that negative feeling up. 
and the feelings that might come along with, well, last month, three married guys came up to me and they thought, wow, I'm attracting married men and I'm only attracting married men and feelings of discouragement or hopelessness or even sadness will rise up in you. And if you're human, what we tend to do at that point, what do we do? You wanna call somebody, you wanna call a friend and vent. You wanna share the experience in an effort to try to feel better. So you call your girlfriend and you say, guess what happened to me today? This total jerk married guy came up to me and hit on me, he wanted me to go out with him and he's totally married. And last month, the same thing happened. Three guys came up to me, they were married and it's like, I'm only attracting these married guys. And your friend says, I know, me too. And you both start having this conversation. And as much as we want that to feel better and a part of us does feel better, there's another part of us that gets rooted in the belief that you attract married men and that married guys are the only ones who come up to you. So you see it happening in your life, married guy hits on you, you stack it with previous experiences that match that experience and you share it with friends and it amplifies the vibration. Not only does it amplify the feeling, the negative feeling you have, but it reinforces that belief and that focus. So not only do you see it more readily, but you actually attract it more readily into your life. So what can you do to begin attracting a new type of guy? The kind of guy that I know that you want. The kind of guy who's successful, who's smart, who's emotionally available, who's funny, who's adventurous, who totally adores you and wants to create something amazing with you. How do you attract that guy? Well, you guessed it. You have to refocus your mind and you have to shift your vibration, which is often easier said than done because we have a momentum to our results, right? The results in your life, all these married guys, emotionally unavailable guys are gonna try to get your attention. They're gonna try to put you in a negative state, which just perpetuates that experience and it perpetuates that result. So, but when you refocus your attention to what is possible, you refocus your attention to what is there, the great guys that are in your life, and you stack that evidence with evidence from your past, of great guys that you know, great relationships that you've had in the past, that begins to shift your vibration. It begins to shift how you're feeling and take you from a negative place to a more positive place. And when you're in a place of gratitude for your amazing life, when you're in a place of joy, when you're in a place of excitement for the life that you're living, when you're in a place of, wow, I love my life, guess what happens? The universe brings to you a match for that vibration. It brings to you circumstances, people, and events that match and create more joy, create more excitement, create more love, create more happiness. And your man, the man who is amazing, who you're gonna have an incredible relationship with, that when you're together, your life is filled with joy, with gratitude, with love and excitement for the amazing life you're living. You're gonna meet that man when you're in that vibration because then you become magnetic, for one another. Now, I hope this video serves you, and I have a question for you. If you could have one answer to one question that would really move you forward in your love life, what question would that be? Go ahead and put that question in the comment section below. I love to read your questions, and this will help me learn how to serve you at an even deeper level. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and take a moment, hit that subscribe button so that you will be on the VIP subscriber list. In other words, you will be the first to get the latest and greatest videos as they come out each and every week because my mission is to increase love in the world and help you live into and have the amazing relationship that you deserve. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.